Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week, we're down in the valley for a taste of some South Texas barbecue at the Longhorn Cattle Company. San Benito may be just a few miles from the sand of South Padre and the border of Mexico, but along the busy highway between Harlingen and Brownsville sits a large stack of South Texas mesquite that helps the home fires burn at this barbecue joint in the RGV. The brisket is good and, and I had some ribs and they're good. And I'm getting ready to roll out of here pretty soon. <laughs> There's a lot of great places out there, but it's just, it's unique. It's unique to the valley. Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas. Cheers to that. Lisa and Bill Turner have owned this eatery since the 80s, and they do things a bit different here, including serving tea in pitchers. I love the glasses. So trying to figure out, did you drink it like this? Everybody has a different take on it. We have some people, they think that we're supposed to give them a glass to pour this <laughs> Wait for it. Lisa's father started the business back in 85 and handed the reins to Lisa and Bill back when they first got married. So y'all got married and took over a business at the same time? It, yeah, a month right later. A couple we got married after. and a month later we were down here and we took over. It's amazing y'all are still together. Yeah, I, I think so. No. <laughs> now, I can imagine being a newly married and starting a business. Yeah, good yeah. job, good job. As if a barbecue joint down in the valley didn't stick out enough, the Longhorn Cattle Company added a few things to really have their horns up on the competition. Actual Longhorns. You get to see the livestock out in the backyard. You don't expect it in a place like this. It's amazing how many people ha have not been around livestock and are totally unfamiliar with livestock. Then there's the beans, served to everyone who enters, making the ride home mighty interesting. When you come into the Longhorn Cattle Company, you get pinto bean soup set in front of you before you ever see a menu. Kind of like when you go into a good Mexican food restaurant, you get chips and salsa set in front of you. You have something to satisfy you because when you walk into a restaurant, you came in there because you're hungry. Every Old West movie has the chuck wagon with a pot of beans, and these beans are good. The beans are to die for. I don't think I've ever had beans that were better than that. My girlfriend wasn't too hungry, but she ate it. <laughs> we'll let you have all you want, and there's plenty of people that do that. <laughs> then there's the baked potatoes that are so big, they become legendary. It was humongous and could not even, one person could not eat it. It took two to finish it. We wanted it to be Texas, because everything's big in Texas. So we chose the largest baked potato that grown in the United States, Iowa, uh, Idaho baked potato. Oh, it's disappointing, and, Idaho. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a 40 count, so there's 40 in a box. It's a 50 pound box, so you can imagine how big this potato is. Why imagine when we can eat? So we went to the back to check out the meat and potatoes. That's a huge potato. Reuben has been building these bad boys since 92, and it's not complicated. Now he's gonna build it up with some Chopped brisket. Then comes the crazy amount of queso. Holy moly. And butter. Lots of butter. You just use a scoop for butter? Real butter, real, real butter. And we're ready for our hot potato. That's it? That's it. There you go. That's oh, a chopped cheddar Thank spud. you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was like going to be that heavy. Here we go. Gosh. Is the table strong enough? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, good. Once settled in the saddle, the beans were first on my list. How do you know when you're a Texan? When you drink your beans out of a coffee cup. That's a good morning right there. The flavor of those beans is amazing. So much spice, so much flavor. I can definitely see why people eat three, four, five, six, seven cups of these. On to the potato. I would say that's about two pounds, maybe three. That chopped beef just stuffed. I'm trying to get down far enough to get some potato. There we go. Look at that. Now, when you're down in the valley, la pregunta es, ¿cómo está la barbecue? Muy rico. They loaded it down full of the natural butter, cheese, sour cream, and then your choice of meat. It is flavorful, it is moist, and it's delicious. Longhorn Cattle Company, good barbecue, good beans. When you're of Irish descent, eating a potato with barbecue on it, <laughs> doesn't get much better than that. It's a phenomenon. People just really love a good, nicely cooked potato with chopped brisket in it and 
real sour cream and real butter and put some barbecue sauce on there and they're all over it. For a Texas-sized potato with barbecue that's good enough for the cows to come home, the Longhorn Cattle Company in San Benito, Texas is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Make this a stop on the Texas bucket list. You only live once, so might as well come see it and enjoy it before you kick the bucket. Well, we're to stop on the Texas bucket list. Now we're officially on the map. Oh, yeah. yeah now we're now officially we're on the map. Thank you. You guys have built a successful business over 30 years. I just, <laughs> it ain't me, We're guys. on the map now. <laughs>